Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans, today we'll be reviewing this, which is the Foxic Antwit robot, which was kindly lent to me by Anthony. And here's Anthony. Alright, go on, you've had your five seconds. Anyway, seeing as it has no box, let's move on to the detail. As this is an Antwit robot, it doesn't exactly copy the likeness of Foxic as it appeared in the show, and more resembles Foxic 3, the newer version of the machine. It's completely constructed from 3D printed plastic, and it looks really good. At the front we get the flipper blade, which resembles the head of a fox with the ears at the top and the nose which juts out from the front. It's razor sharp on the edge, which really helps to get underneath other machines. On the sides we get the wheels, which have rubber tread on them, and these have been custom built by the maker and are protected by these strong plastic side panels. The wheels are directly connected to four 500 RPM gear motors, giving it a lot of power. Removing the top panel, you can see the lifting arm also has its own motor, which runs at 70 RPM, and runs off this gear, which connects to the teeth on the end of the hinged arm. The speed controller and circuit board are located on the opposite side of the weapon motor, and a charger port can be found in front of this. The battery is a Turnigy Nanotech, and on a full charge will last around 10 minutes. If there are any issues with the controls, a link has been provided, and when it's connected to these prongs, the system will be reset. Finally, the underside features an on-off switch, as well as the screws which hold the internal components onto the chassis. So overall for detail, it looks brilliant and has been intricately constructed. This is the controller, which resembles something you'd play a video game with, but it makes it very easy to use and it fits comfortably in your hands. It features two multi-directional control sticks, as well as an on-off switch, and takes four AA size batteries. So that's the robot and the controller. Let's take it for a test drive. Foxic is very fast. It runs smoothly when moving in forward and in reverse. It can also turn due to its setup of one motor per wheel, as well as spin on the spot, giving it a zero degree turning circle. On the controller, the left hand stick controls forwards and back, while the right hand stick runs left and right. Another great bonus is that it can run upside down, as the wheels sit higher than the weapon arm. Speaking of which, activating the weapon is a little complicated. To make the arm rise up, move the left hand stick to the right, and to lower the arm, move it to the left. This does restrict the weapon's capabilities, as it can't be operated when the machine is moving forward or back. The lifting arm isn't very strong, and is basically just there for show, but it can lift lightweight objects. To charge Foxic, connect it to this balance charger, which can then be plugged into a regular wall socket. The robot takes around 3-4 to four minutes to fully charge, however if the battery fully drains, it can cause some issues. Doing a quick size comparison, Foxic is slightly bigger than the Robot Wars pullback toys, and the BattleBots Hexbug remote control toys as well. So overall, what do I think of this Foxic Ant weight? Well, I really like it. The chassis is made from thick 3D printed plastic, but it is very strong and durable. It handles well, and for the most part the controller is easy to use. However, the way in which the weapon is operated feels slightly clunky, and I would have preferred a separate button to activate it. The battery life could last a little longer, but it doesn't take too long to charge, and when it's fully charged, it's a powerful little machine. What's really great is that this was built by Alex from Team Nuts, who competed in the 2016 series of Robot Wars, and if you want an ant weight of your very own, there's a link in the description below where you can contact him and he'll build one for you. Isn't that awesome? And uh, so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>